video, we are going to look at a very simple way of making this 3D animation in After Effects. So to do this kind of animation you need to design the graphics in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator and make sure that all the objects that you want to move or animate separately in After Effects are as separate layers. I downloaded this pre-designed file from freepick.com. Let's forget about this layer for a while. Now import this file into After Effects and make sure to select these options. Otherwise, your separate layers will be merged into one layer, and you would not be able to animate individual layers. Let's hide these layers for a while. Duplicate the phone layer, and pre-compose both copies separately. Select, move all attributes into new composition. Also pre-compose the phone backside layer. Convert all these layers to 3D objects. Now create a new camera, just to visualize the other sides of the 3D objects. It has nothing to do with our animation, so don't get scared. Select the camera control tool to rotate the camera by dragging the mouse. Now you can see the other side of the 3D objects. Now go to the phone thickness layers position. You can see the objects moving in the 3D space. Separate the three dimensions because we want to apply a very simple script on the Z position value only. Now hold the ALT key and click on the clock icon. Type, index word. Now, because of this little script, every time we duplicate this layer, the newly generated copy will be automatically placed one pixel position away from the previous copy in the 3D space and the Z dimension. Creating more copies will make the phone look thicker. So, make enough copies until the phone looks 3D. Because now it will have many layers separated by a distance of one pixel. Let's change the color of the middle layers to a brighter one, although it's not necessary sometimes. I'm using the color overlay technique, but you can do it your way. Go back to the main composition and move the phone back side layer a little backward, so that it is visible from behind. Turn off the camera. We don't need it anymore. Now select all 3D layers and pre-compose them into one new composition. Select the 3D icon. It is still not completely 3D, but if you check this icon, it will become 3D. Now you can animate this as one 3D object. Duplicate the 3D phone object. Let's hide one for a while, and animate one by one. Animate the position and rotation by adding keyframes at different points in time. Use easing and graph editor to make animations look more natural and smoother.
you will see this problem, but it can be solved by applying the drop shadow effect to the upper layer. To animate the background objects, create an adjustment layer and make it the parent layer for background objects. Now if you move only the adjustment layer, these layers will move along with it. You can use the screen placeholder as a mask to play your own video on the phone screen. Just place it in the phone from pre-composition. Place the video below it. Then adjust the video to fit the screen size. Then select alpha mat. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button.